Charlotte Bostock is part of the Seven Worlds One Planet team. We made this week's episode because we're in Europe. Yes, yes, we're in our home continent. Which is amazing. Which And this is the amazing thing about what you do. Your eyes are open so wide because all of these things, I didn't realise they were there. I know. Them, you know. That's that's the the amazing thing about this show, I yeah. hope, is that it's full of the new, the surprising, the unexpected, because we all travel to far flung places to get yes. natural wonders and wildlife, but actually it's all on our doorstep. And the camera trap things are incredible. We, we call them traps, they're not traps, they're, yes. just, they're just cameras so that you can remote cameras that exactly. we leave yeah, so we leave them in the field for long periods of time. So I think we left these cameras in the field for six months yes. and it means that we can get footage in multiple locations mm. over a long period. We ended up in some remote places and sure. all of the unexpected things did actually happen. Uh, it's amazing, like, you can't write that stuff. No, you can't. I mean, no. I, never th I, never I never thought there was little hamsters running No, out. no, neither did we. And when we, when we, when this story came to us, we, it, we basically found these amazing stills of, of this hamster with its cheeks full. And we thought, oh, yeah. that's, that's great. What's the story behind this? And as we started working on it, we realised that the location was in a graveyard in Vienna, which took us all by surprise. And I think that's the thing about this show. It's, there's not much wild space in Europe, but it does exist in yes. the graveyards, in, in the caves underneath our feet. And animals are amazing, because there's like yeah. little dragons in Slovenia. Yeah, baby dragons. Baby dragons. We've got bears, we've got wolves. It's literally the, the show of Red Riding Hood and the Gruffalo, wow. yeah. Is that a baby dragon? That's an Olm, yeah. So they're baby dragons. Uh, they're found in the cave systems in Slovenia. They um, live up to 100 years old. You're kidding. And they eat once every 10 years. Once every ten years. Can you imagine if that, that no, was what it was? I can yeah, have to eat every ten years. They don't breathe fire, though. They don't, they're not going to be in Game of Thrones no, or no, anything they're, like no, that. No, not in Game of Thrones. But what a remarkable thing. And of course, you get to work with David Attenborough, for goodness sakes. Yeah. Who is the god of everything. Yeah, he is a legend in his own right. Yeah. He's remarkable. What I love about him, and this is what I love about all of you who yeah. do these kind of shows, curiosity. Yes. Curiosity. Always questioning. Always, 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 always. And yeah. he's still at his age. He still says, I'm still learning. Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's the thing. We're always learning about new species, new behaviours. There's always new stories coming sure. out. And that's at the forefront of these shows. And that's for always sure. what we're pushing. Is it too hard to ask you for a favourite? For a favourite moment or a favourite a favorite oh, sort of experience? Is, is it too hard? Um, can I pick two things? Yes. OK, so probably a personal favourite experience was that moment with the Iberian lynx where we yes, got to see him course, because course. as one of the world's rarest cats, that was an incredible moment. But I think my favourite sequence has got to be the hamsters because it's just surprising, unexpected and hilarious. And Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Yeah. Wild hamsters <laughs> fighting over candles yes. in a graveyard. Yeah. You couldn't make it up, really, No, you, you can't make it but up. But it's true. But it and we true. know it's true because David Attenborough says it. Yeah, <laughs> and, we, and we saw it with our own and eyes. And you saw it with your yeah. very own eyes. Charlotte, it's an amazing series. It Thank really is. You. Thank you. Because I know how hard you all work. This doesn't happen overnight. It takes years. Years, yeah. Years and years yeah. and years of I've hard I've been work. on the project for three years, some of the team four years. <sighs> So it's definitely a big undertaking, but it's, but it's worth it. It sure is. Yeah.